Warrior Cats is a series with 103 books. That might not even be accurate. There are just too many for the same person to count, and I'm half sane. With all those novels, novellas, super editions, mangas, and graphic novels, it can become confusing as to what the timeline looks like. In addition, the number of books makes it hard for new fans to get into the series. Some fans don't even read the books because of the intimidating number of them, and instead rely upon animators to figure out what is happening. Today, I am going to be demystifying the Warrior Cats timeline by creating a video explaining it in depth, plot holes and all. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats content so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. I'd also like to give a big thank you to the Warrior Cats wiki for having complete descriptions to all the books. I pretty much just turned the wiki summaries into video form, and I thank all the admins of the wiki for keeping it updated and up to date, and also anyone who's ever done an edit on the wiki as well. I'd also like to thank the proofreaders for the script who gave their time to correct inaccuracies in it, and who also provided me copies of the books to ensure the most factually correct summary video. Without further ado, let's get into the timeline. Long before we know of anything else happening, Rock the Hairless Cat and Midnight the Badger observe the first dawn upon the lake. Sometime after, cats begin to settle along the shore of the lake territory. These cats will become known as the Ancients in Time. They have no set ranks based off the skills and instead train in whatever they feel, whether it be fighting, hunting, or healing. They have a ceremony where young cats become sharp claws, or fully grown cats, by spending time wandering the tunnels where Rock lives and coming out alive. Rock takes count of how many cats die in the tunnels by marking them on his stick. One of the cats who dies is Fallen Leaves, who dies in a flood. Several moons later, Jay's Wing goes to take his sharp claw ceremony and after two days makes it out. This Jay's Wing, unbeknownst to anyone, is a cat sent from the future named Jay Feather. Two legs had begun construction on the horse place, making the ancients nervous. They cast a vote on whether or not to seek new land. Jay's Wing is a tiebreaker vote and the cats decided to move on the mountains based off of his word. Jay's wing disappears, and an ice storm occurs. During a snowstorm, one cat dies, and the rest find the cave of rushing water. Jay's wing reappears from the cave of pointing stones. The ancients begin to develop their hunting techniques, and Half Moon becomes the first stone teller, a cat who receives the messages from their ancestors, the tribe of endless hunting. A cat's named Lion's Roar is born alongside his siblings. Lion's Roar will later be reincarnated into the modern cat, Lion Blaze. Jay's wing disappears months more. Several moons later, Grey Wing and Clear Sky are born. When they are adults, a harsh winter occurs and Stone Teller receives a sign telling her to send some cats far from the mountains. A patrol of cats are sent out, including Grey Wing, Clear Sky, Bright Stream, Shaded Moss, Jagged Peak, Tall Shadow, Shattered Ice, Falling Feather, Moon Shadow, Cloud Spots, Rain Sweat, Flower, Dabble Pelt, Jack Dolls Cry, and Turtle Tail. Soon after they set off, the pregnant Bright Stream is carried away by an eagle. Strangely enough, her final thought is not a fear or despair for the kids she could have had, but hopes that her loves would one day get over her death and find a new love one day. Shaded Moss, the group's leader, is killed by a monster, and the cats elect Tall Shadow as their new leader. They come across the moorlands in what will eventually become the Force Territories and settle there. The group begins to fracture. Tall Shadow and her group stay on the moors, and Clear Sky and his group move into the forest. Soon after, they decide to move to the forest, Turtle Tail leaves the group to become a kitty pet. Jagged Peak injures his leg, and Clear Sky, his own brother, kicks him out of the group, fearing that he will be useless. Storm, Clear Sky's mate, dies in the house collapse. However, her kit, Thunder, lives. Clear Sky rejects him, and Great Wing takes over custody. Turtle Tail decides to no longer be a kitty pet and returns to the moor. She is Kit, and Great Wing becomes her foster father, bringing his adopted kit count up to four. Wind and Gorse are two cats who've already lived in the Moor area. They save Gr Grey Wing's life, but Tall Shadow refuses to allow them into the group. After a fire, Clear Sky's group shelters with Tall Shadows. Thunder meets Clear Sky and decides he wants to join his father. The group returns back to the forest and Clear Sky banishes Frost for having a wound that could possibly turn infected and cause him to be a burden on the group. Thunder realizes that Clear Sky isn't the nicest guy and decides to leave alongside Frost. Remember Turtletail? Well, now her ex Tom is back and seeking custody of her kids. 
Turtle Tail dies trying to get her kits back from him, however is unsuccessful, and he flees to the two-leg place. According to the authors, the car that killed her was a Ford Model T, making this book set in the 1910s or 1920s. Anyways, after her death, Lightning Tail and Thunder are successful in the recovering the kits and bringing them back. All Shadow and Clear Skies groups begin to fight. Neither side wins, and there are many dead cats. After the battle, the dead appear and tell the clans they must unite or die, and they must grow and spread like, quote unquote, the blazing star. Moons later, an illness begins to spread through the cats. Two cats appear. One of them is One-Eye, a well, one-eyed cat who doesn't seem to have the best of intentions. The other one is Starflower, who is pursued by both Thunder and Clear Sky romantically. Both of them join Clear Sky's group. One-Eye attempts to take over Clear Sky's group. He succeeds, and under him, all of his followers have to carve an eye into their paw pads. An attempt is made to take back over the group, and it fails. However, on the second attempt, they succeed in taking over the group, and One-Eye is killed. The blazing star mentioned earlier is found. Turns out, it is a flower. It cures the sickness that all the cats have been suffering from. Quiet Rain and Sun Shadow arrive from the tribe. Quiet Rain forgives Clear Sky for all of his crimes and dies soon after. Slash takes Star Flower prisoner, however then releases her. Afterwards he takes Black Ear, and then Black Ear is also rescued. Slash decides to try and find a line of work that he is more success in and leaves the forest. Great Wing has an asthma attack. He names the clans officially and then passes away with all of his kits around him. Moth Flight chases a moth. This leads to her discovering the Moonstone and hence a connection to Star Clan for the clans. She becomes the first healer but keeps a mate, Micah. She discovers she is pregnant, however, Micah passes away before her kits are born. Sky Clan decides that they need medical attention and seal Moth Flight. Wind Clan starts a battle to get her back. Moth Flight says, Wait, 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 there's enough of me to go around, and gives one of her kits to each clan. She also teaches all of the clans healing. Shortly before that, though, Wind Clan became the first clan to have a true leader, as Wind Runner became Wind Star and received her nine lives at the Moonstone. Moth Light makes all the healers promise to never fall in love after she's done with training them. Boy, I hope this doesn't have any long-lasting consequences. Thunder Clan's camp gets invaded by dogs. Thunderstar and Lightning Tail try and get rid of the dogs, however, Lightning Tail dies. Thunderstar loses his first life. Owlize is named as Thunder Clan's deputy. Two legs begin to invade Sky Clan's part of the forest. Shadowstar loses a life from a pack of dogs, leaving her on her last life. She becomes afraid of losing her final life. She learns that Quickwater of Sky Clan has been ambushing and killing her cats, and was responsible for her losing that life. A trial is held for Quickwater, however she lies and is set free. All the clans fight over whether she is guilty or not, and Quickwater and Shadowstar end up fighting to the death and fatally wounding each other. On her deathbed, Quickwater admits that she was ambushing Shadow Clan cats, and both she and Shadowstar go to Star Clan. Shadowstar is the first leader to die. Mothwing helps Blue Whisker give birth and is reunited with her kits for the last time. Sometime later, two lights continue on with the destruction of Sky Clan's forest. The level of destruction gets so bad that at a gathering, Cloudstar seeks out the aid of the other clans. However, no other clan helps them by donating territory for them to live on, and Cloudstar and a portion of Sky Clan leave the forest, eventually settling in the gorge. Though some of Sky Clan remain behind and get assimilated in during some unknown years, rules were put down that would become the Warrior Code. The first rule is to defend your clan, even with your life. You made friendships with cats from other clans, but your loyalty must remain to your clan alone. A Wind Clan warrior named Rye Whisker got into a relationship with Cloudberry of River Clan, and soon she was expecting his kits. However, during a battle between their two clans, Rye Whisker defended Cloudberry and lost his life. In honor of his life, Code 1 was created to prevent any situations like it from happening again in the future. At the same time, the leader suggested creating a gathering every full moon. Code 2 was next introduced after a dispute between Shadow Clan and Thunder Clan over hunting rights at a gathering went awry. Star Clan intervened, showing their will, and as such, the second code was created. It says not to hunt or trespass on another clan's territory. Code 3 is that elders and kits must be the first fed. Code 4 states that prey is killed only to be eaten and not to be played with. This was instituted after two kids started playing with a piece of prey, only for an owl to grab it from them, supposedly showing the will of Star Clan for the code to be created. Code 5 creates a minimum age for kids to become apprentices. The rule was created by Daisy Tail, a queen whose kit was apprenticed early due to a need for more cats to participate in battle. She stood up for her kit, 
and other queens joined her, including queens from the rival clan. Together, they created the fifth rule in order to prevent unprepared kits from dying in battle. Code 6 establishes that after receiving their warrior name, the new warriors must stand night watch. This code was created after Meadowpelt, a healer, grew tired of young warriors and decided to make them watch camp to teach them a lesson. The camp happened to be attacked, and the young warriors fought off the attackers and became more mature, so it was proposed to be added to the code. Code 7 is the rule that a cat must have at least one apprentice mentored in order to become deputy. Code 8 creates the clear rule that the deputy will become clan leader when the leader dies or retires. While this may seem like a given, in Sky Clan, a dying leader chose Mothpelt, his daughter, to lead his clan instead of his deputy, Maple Whisker. After realizing she was overwhelmed, Mothpelt gave her position to Maple Whisker. The amendment was subsequently proposed. Code 9 cements that before Moon High, a retiring or dead deputy must be replaced. This happened because a leader died before making it to the Moonstone, where they were heading to receive their nine lives. They had not appointed a deputy, so two cats fought over the position, and both of them perished. The healer made up a sign under it urging a star clan to choose a new deputy, and later the healer made the code. Code 10 states that a gathering is held during a full moon, and it must not be interrupted by fighting among the clans. This role was placed after Shadow Clan attacked the other clans during a gathering, and Star Clan killed their leader with a lightning strike. Taking it as a sign of Star Clan's rule, they created a truce lasting for full moons uh, in which no combat is to occur. Code 11 establishes that boundaries must be marked and checked daily, and all trespassers challenged. This was proposed after an apprentice hunted prey on the wrong side of the border due to unclear markings. Code 12 makes it law that a kit, even a kit from another clan, must be helped if they are in danger or pain. This was proposed after Grey Wing of River Clan, no, not that one, he's from Wing Clan, watches three Wing Clan kits drown in the river and neglected to help them. She was visited by the ghosts that they would have grown up into a leader, a deputy, and a healer. Shocked and guilted by the haunting, Grey Wing proposed the 12th code. The 13th code cements that the word of clan leader is the warrior code, and it was created after a deputy spoke out of turn at a gathering and challenged her leader, making her clan look weak. Code 14 creates the standard that killing is not necessary to win battles, unless the opponent lives outside the warrior code or the killing is necessary for self-defense. It was created in order to prevent bloodthirsty warriors from starting unnecessary feuds. Code 15 states that a warrior must reject the soft life of a kitty pet. Those are all 15 of the original codes in the Warrior Code. Some other proposed codes include the barring of all former kitty pets, rogues, and loners from clan life, including the exile of all cats with kitty pet, rogue, or loner blood in the clans currently. Another one is that clans must only hunt a certain type of prey, like fish for River Clan and birds for Sky Clan. Another proposed code was a code suggesting that Star Clan controls all. To deny the existence of Star Clan would be to break the Warrior Code. That one was, of course, rejected. During a battle against River Clan, Flowerpaw falls into the river. Birchface goes in after Flowerpaw and drowns. Appledusk is the cause of his death in ThunderClan's eyes, making things hard for his secret ThunderClan lover, Mapleshade. Mapleshade reveals to Appledusk that she is pregnant with his kits, but does not tell her clanmates the father, and they assume that the kits are Birchface's kits. After her kits exhibit more River Clan behaviors than ThunderClan, and Mapleshade takes her kits to the river numerous times, Ravenwing gets a sign confirming that the kits are River Clan. He tells the clan about it, and Mapleshade and her kits are exiled. Mapleshade determines to take her kits to River Clan by crossing the river. Her kits drown in the process, and she is not accepted into River Clan. It turns out that Apple Dust has been a bit sneaky. He has a maid in River Clan as well, Reedshine, who is pregnant with his kits. Mapleshade takes revenge on the cats she finds at fault. First, she kills Ravenwing at the Moonstone and digs up his body after it is buried. Next, she kills Apple Dusk. She gets close to killing Reedshine, however Perchpaw, Appledusk's apprentice, fatally wounds her and she bleeds out. Two legs dig a tunnel underneath the Thunderpath, providing a new place for ThunderClan and ShadowClan to fight over. This immediately happens as ShadowClan trespasses. A battle happens and ThunderClan wins. Pine Kid is born. As an apprentice, he takes part in the scraps with ShadowClan. His life is also saved from a fox by a kitty pet named Crystal. Later, Pinepaw is sent along with a patrol into the two lake places to discourage trespassing from kitty pets. He stumbles upon Crystal and lies for her that she is protecting her kits. Pinepaw receives his warrior name, Pineheart, soon after. Goose Kid is born with the ability to see ghosts from Star Clan and see prophecies from them. Because of that, he is made a healer apprentice at just four moons of age. Three moons later, he is made a full healer 
gaining the name Goosefeather. Goosefeather predicts that Thunderclan will suffer from a harsh winter. He proposes burying some of the prey they catch so the cold, dry brown grounds will preserve it for winter. However, heavy rain causes all the saved prey to rot, and Thunderclan still suffers from a famine where five cats pass away. Thunderclan does survive the famine, though, and after it is over, Dostar gives the apprentices their warrior names. Shortly after, she gets sick, likely due to the hunger causing her immune system to weaken, and so does Cloudberry. Both of them pass away, leaving Pineheart, now Pinestar, as leader. Pinestar meets Jake, a kitty pet, around this time. Tall Paw begins his apprentice training, becoming a moor runner, though his father wants him to become a tunneler. A group of loners known as the Visitors arrive in WingClan, as is their tradition. ShadowClan attacks WingClan's camp, resulting in the death of a WingClan warrior. A cave-in occurs while Sandgorse is showing a visitor named Sparrow a tunnel, causing Tall Paw to hate and blame Sparrow for his death. The practice of tunneling is ended by Heatherstar due to the cave-in. Talltail earns his warrior name. A bit later, Talltail decides to search for Sparrow, determined to make him pay for his father's death. However, upon finding Sparrow, Talltail decides not to kill him and returns to Wing Clan. Yellow Pawner's littermates become warrior apprentices. Shadow Clan steals prey from Wing Clan, resulting in an attack in which they are not victors. Ragged Pelt earns his warrior name. River Clan suffers from a horrific flood. On that night, two kits are born, Oak Kit and Storm Kit. It is said that kits born during a storm will grow up to become powerful warriors. Only a moon after the flood, Thunderclan moves to take Sunning Rocks back from RiverClan. Stormkit breaks his jaw, and a moon later, his name is changed to Crooked Kit on the insistence of his mother. Yellowfang receives her warrior name, and shortly after discovers that she can feel other cats' pain. Red and Boulder, two loners, though Boulder is later retconned to be from BloodClan, join ShadowClan. Crooked Kit decides to leave RiverClan and stays with a group of cats at the barn. They teach him how to hunt with his jaw condition, and he helps care for the kits of the barn cats and hunt. He decides to return back to the clan, though. Crooked Kit is finally made an apprentice after saving Willow Kit and Grey Kit from a heron. Willow Kit and Grey Kit are kidnapped by their father, Reed Feather, and taken to Wing Clan. Goose Feather receives a sign that Wing Clan will attack Thunder Clan from a vole's pelt. Thunderclan preemptively strikes at WingClan and tries to destroy their herb stores. Moonflower is killed in the battle by Hawkheart, WingClan's healer. Pinestar meets a kitty pet called Shanty. Kitty pets attack ShadowClan in an attempt to rescue Red, now Russipaw, and Boulder. Ragapelt recognizes one of the cats as potentially being his father, and in a fit of rage about all the things he was insulted with being really true, kills his father. Don't feel bad for his father, though, he was a bit of a jerk. Ragged Pelt becomes a deputy of Shadow Clan, and Yellowfang becomes its healer after deciding that she cannot be a warrior with her special ability. Oakheart becomes a warrior during continued fights over Sunning Rocks, which Thunder Clan seems to dominate. River Clan is successful in one thing, though. Grey Kit and Willow Kit are returned back to the rightful clan. Dostar comes back as a ghost to warn Pinestar that his son, Tiger Kiss, will potentially destroy Thunder Clan. Goosefeather receives a prophecy about Blue Paw through a burning stick. Blue Paw earns her warrior name, and so does Crooked Jaw, who has one of the most unique naming ceremonies in the series. RiverClan and ThunderClan still compete over Sunning Rocks. However, during one time, ThunderClan peacefully steps down, and so RiverClan intrudes further and further into the forest. Pinestar leaves ThunderClan in order to become a kitty pet. His deputy, Sunfall, becomes leader, with reduced lives. Yellowfang becomes a full healer, and Snowfur is injured on the Thunderpath and killed while trying to track down a ShadowClan patrol. Tiny wanders into the forest and is t attacked by Tigerpaw on Thistleclaw's orders. Bluefur orders the two of them to stop, and Tiny flees back to the two-leg place. He attempts to remove his collar using a dog tooth, but instead gets it stuck in. The other cats believe this tooth to be from a dog he defeated and enlists his help to drive off another dog. He succeeds, and the cats at Two-Leg Place begin to look up to him as a leader. Tiny renames himself to be Scourge. Yellowfang gives birth to three kits. Two are stillborn, which she interprets to be a curse from StarClan. One survives Broken Kit. She gives up Broken Kit to Lizard Stripe so he will not grow up knowing he was a result of her breaking the healer code. Blackpaw learns that Blizzardwing is his father, and strikes up a friendship with the lonely, outcasted Broken Kit. Sage Whisker passes away, leaving Yellowfang as a clan's sole healer. Cedar Star loses his final life, and Ragged Star becomes leader. Foxheart becomes his deputy. During a fox chase, Rainflower is knocked into the river and dies. Crooked Jaw blames himself for this. 
RiverClan starts to try and fight ThunderClan over to Stunning Rocks, however Mudford steps in and says he's tired of the Macho Warrior BS and he will take any ThunderClan cats in on one-on-one -on -one combat. He wins the fight and RiverClan wins the Stunning Rocks for now. Mudford then retires and becomes a healer. Shellhards retires to Elder's Den and Crooked Jaw, his son, takes his place as deputy. ThunderClan demands the Stunning Rocks from RiverClan and Hailstar grants them permission. Blue Star begins to see Oakheart as a romantic partner. Tiger Claw rescues Red Paw from a heart, making Red Paw feel indebted to him for the rest of his life. Broken Tail is made into a warrior early. Foxheart passes away and Cloud Spots is made the new deputy. Hailstar loses his last life and Crooked Star becomes leader. Blue Fur is Oakheart's kit. However, she's in line to become deputy alongside Thistleclaw, an ambitious cat who is potentially evil. Fearing that she will be, be passed up on the position due to taking care of kits, she sends them across the river to live with their father. Running Nose becomes the full healer and Blue Fur officially becomes deputy. Redtail and Tigerclaw attack Sorrelpaw and Wing Clan for trespassing, causing tension between the two clans. Krogutsar discovers that Misty Kit and Stone Kit are half clan, however, keeps it a secret and allows them to stay in River Clan. One Paw, Morning Paw, and Ash Paw all become apprentices. Bailey and her two kits, Melody and Leo, ask to join Wing Clan. They are allowed to, however, they will have a tight leash and must prove their worth. Leo and Melody become Brush Paw and Tansy Paw. Brush Paw and Tansy Paw take One Paw and Morning Paw to the Two Like Place on a visit. One Paw becomes a regular visitor and impresses the kitty pets with stories of wildlife. Brush Paw and Tansy Paw fail the warrior assessment, and Brush Paw dies after becoming injured by a warrior. Bailey subsequently leaves and becomes a kitty pet again. Stonefur and Mistyfoot become warriors and Willowbreeze gives birth to Crooked Star's kits. Not long after, she gets sick and all but and she and all but one of their kits dies. Silver Kit lives and becomes Crooked Star's sole daughter. After Cloud Pelt's death, Ragged Star names Broken Tail's deputy and soon comes to regret it. However, it's too late to do anything as Ragged Star loses all the nine lives before he can do something about Broken Tail. Broken Tail becomes Broken Star and begins to break the warrior code by allowing kits to become warriors and by allowing warriors to eat before kits and elders. We have now reached the original starting point in a Warrior Cat's timeline and the start of the first arc. The first arc started publishment in 2003, leading me to assume that is the year that these books are set in. A green cough epidemic occurs in ThunderClan, killing five kits. This makes them more open to recruiting from sources they would otherwise have disregarded, such as the Two Like Place. They lose a battle at Sunning Rocks to River Clan, but fortunately receive good news through a prophecy that fire will save their clan. Broken Star and Shadow Clan drive out Wing Clan from their territory, and Wing Clan begins to wander. After training two kits to death, Broken Star accuses Yellow Fang of killing them and gets her exiled. Rusty, a kitty pet, joins Thunder Clan and is named Firepaw after his pelt, which gleams like a brand of fire in the sunlight. On the same day, a skirmish occurs at Sunning Rocks, and it is believed that Oakheart killed Redtail, and then Tigerclaw avenged Redtail, leading, leading to the deaths of both Redtail and Oakheart. Redtail was the deputy, so Blue Star elects a new one, Lionheart. Yellowfang, who became a loner after being exiled, is taken as a prisoner by Firepaw and is made his responsibility by the leader, Blue Star. Lionheart is killed and Tigerclaw takes his place as deputy. Ravenpaw decides to leave ThunderClan because he knows the truth of what happened at Sunning Rocks. Redtail wasn't killed by Oakheart, Tigerclaw killed Redtail. Now just remember this because Aarons are going to butcher this like 5,000 times in novellas, this is how it actually goes. After kits go missing, both Ravenpaw and Yellowfang are accused of stealing them. Firepaw and Graypaw are able to prove that ShadowClan did that and killed their medicine cat, Spotleaf, as well. ThunderClan drives out Brokenstar and makes Nightpelt the leader. Firepaw and Graypaw receive their warrior names. Fireheart and Graystripe are sent to retrieve WingClan now that ShadowClan is no longer a threat. They discover them sheltered in a tunnel, picking off with two leg scraps and whatever they can find. Though initially reluctant, Tallstar decides that Wing Clan should return home. They return home successfully, and Fireheart and Graystripe begin to return to their territory. They take a shortcut through River Clan territory and are caught. Leopardford, the River Clan deputy, confronts them, despite how close they are to the edge of a dangerous ravine. During the fight, Graystripe accidentally throws a white claw into the ravine, killing him and heightening tensions between Thunder and River Clan. Fireheart and Graystripe receive apprentices Cinderpaw's Fireheart's apprentice and Brackenpaw Graystripes. 
Fireheart discovers his sister, Princess, on a border patrol. She has been living as a kitty pet nearby, and he decides to visit her more often. Graystripe is on the frozen river one day and the ice breaks beneath him. He nearly drowns but is saved by Silverstream, a river clan warrior whom he falls in love with. Fireheart covers for him and even takes over his training of Brackenpaw as he recovers. Cinderpaw, Fireheart's actual apprentice, has her light twisted beyond repair after falling into a trap that Tigerstar set for Blue Star near the Thunderpath. Thunderclan is attacked by Brokenstar and a band of rogues. They manage to defend themselves and take Broken Star prisoner and strip him of his leader name. After a heavy rain, two like trash washes into the river and River Clan struggles to find prey. Crooked Star loses a life in a flood that occurs, and Robin Kit, Wood Kit, and Frog Leap also drown. A good portion of River Clan's camp is washed away. Fireheart and Graystripe rescue Perch Kit and Pike Kit from the flood. After learning of River Clan's struggles, they decide to hunt food for the rival clan, which they are punished for later. Cinderpaw makes the choice to become a healer under Yellowfang. The other clans learn that Thunderclan is hosting Broken Tail and attack them. Thunderclan is able to drive them back. Tigerclaw leads a band of rogues to attack Thunderclan's camp so he can kill his leader and take her place. However, he's fended off by Fireheart, who replaces him as deputy once he becomes exiled. Yellowfang decides to finally kill Broken Tail via Death Berries and reveals to him in his final moments that he is her son. Silverstream gives birth. Unfortunately, she bleeds out in the process. Graystripe decides to join RiverClan to care for their kits, Storm Kits and Feather Kits. A fire occurs in Thunderclan, driving the cats from their forest home. Three perish in the fire, Yellowfang, Halftail, and Patchpelt. Shadowclan struggles to survive due to a sickness. Their leader is also not a proper leader either. Nightstar never gained his nine lives due to Brokenstar still being alive when he went to the Moonstone. Tigerclaw and a group of former Shadowclan cats and rogues decide to join Shadowclan. Not too long after, a sign is found which calls for Tigerstar to become leader. Crookedstar dies and Leopardstar becomes leader. Thunderclan and Windclan meet up to discuss prey theft. A dog pack escapes from the two-like place and thanks to Rook Tiger Tigerstar, develops a taste for cat. Two apprentices, Swiftpaw and Brightpaw, become frustrated that they are not warriors yet even though Cloudtail recently became one. They decide that if they defeat the dogs plaguing the territory, there will be no other choice except to make them warriors. They attempt to recruit the other apprentices for their plan, but fail to and head off into the forest alone. They are quickly overwhelmed by the dogs. Swiftpaw is killed, but Brightpaw escapes, though she is severely injured. A plan is developed to drive the dogs out. Things go awry and Bluestar ends up sacrificing herself in order to draw the dogs off a cliff. Firestar becomes leader of Thunderclan in the wake of her passing, and Whitestorm becomes his deputy. Tigerstar creates an alliance with Leopardstar called Tigerclan. Firestar, Graystripe, and Ravenpaw head over to Riverclan to check on Graystripe's children. They witness Tigerstar order the killing of all the Halfclan cats. Stonefur is killed, and Mistyfoot, Featherpaw, and Stormpaw are kept as prisoners. Firestar and the rest of the patrol break them free and take them back to Thunderclan. Tigerstar attempts to force Windclan to join his alliance by killing an apprentice to show his force. Windclan does not join and instead decides to ally with Thunderclan. He attempts to ally with Bloodclan, a clan founded in a two-like place, in order to have enough cats to take over the forest. However, their leader, Scourge, kills him instead and tries to take over the forest for himself. The alliance of Lion Clan is formed between the forest clans and they go up against Bloodclan together, and they are able to kill Scourge and drive out Bloodclan. Sasha decides to have her and Tigerstar's kits join the River Clan after one of them drowns. She decides that clan life is not for her later though and leaves them alone. Barley, a kitty pet, gets dreams of a mysterious clan and tells Firestar, who learns that he needs to reestablish the fifth clan, Sky Clan. Firestar, along with his mate, Sandstorm, travel to what used to be Sky Clan's territory. Graystripe is left in charge of Thunder Clan and Blood Clan reappears, this time with a cat named Fury at its helm. With the help of a former Bloodclan cat named Gremlin, the clan is able to drive the cats away. Firestar is able to establish a system of Daylight Warriors for SkyClan, which artificially lists the clan's numbers with half kitty pets. He is able to unite the cats of SkyClan to drive away a rat infestation of the territory. Leafstar is made the leader of the newly formed SkyClan and Echo Song the healer. Firestar receives a prophecy from the last living member of old SkyClan that the kin of his kin will have the power of the stars in their paws. Firestar returns to the Thunderclan. Leopardstar, Feathertail, Stormfur, and Hawkpaw drive a fox out of RiverClan. In doing so, Leopardstar loses a life. Leopardstar apologizes to Feathertail and Stormfur for trying to kill them during the Tigerstar era. 
Raven Paul and Barley are driven out of their barn by a group of loners who they initially let stay because they felt as though they were in need. Raven Paul seeks out help from Firestar in order to get them to leave. Soon after, Bloodclan cats start attacking Thunderclan, but they drive them out and then drive out the Bloodclan cats from the barn as promised. In Skyclan, Leafstar struggles with Sharpclaw trying to insert himself into her affairs. A group of loners assimilate into the clan and later tell Leafstar the real reason they came was to regain the territory they lost in the Two Light Place. Leafstar agrees to help them, however during the battle realizes that Skyclan was being used by them and returns back to the gorge. She then settles her differences with Sharpclaw. A prophecy is issued to the four clans of the forest. Darkness, air, water, and sky will come together and shake the forest to its roots. Nothing will be as it is now, nor has it ever been before. Though only four cats are given a sign, six cats, Brambleclaw, Squirrelpaw, Stormfur, Feathertail, Tawnypelt, and Crowpaw, act on it and go searching for Midnight, a cat who may prove important in their quest. Turns out Midnight is not a cat but a badger and she tells the cats that the clans need to find a new home. On the way back to their forest territory, they encounter a tribe of cats who are being terrorized by a big cat named Sharptooth. The tribe believes a silver cat will help defeat Sharptooth, and they assume that cat will be Stormfur. However, it really was Feathertail, who ends up sacrificing herself to kill Sharptooth. Back in the forest, two legs begin destroying the forest territories. Wind Clan becomes sick after consuming a poisoned rabbit, and Four Trees is destroyed. Graystripe is captured by two legs. Brambleclaw is made deputy of ThunderClan until he returns. The clan cats finally decide to leave the forest as it has become inhabitable. They arrive at the new, or lake, territories. Soon after, Tallstar of WingClan dies and on his deathbed names One Whisker as leader instead of his deputy. Because only ThunderClan cats and One Whisker are around to hear that, Mudclaw believes that they lied. A civil war breaks out in WingClan, which is ended when a tree falls on Mudclaw, which becomes the bridge to the Gathering Island. In SkyClan, Leafstar and her young kids are captured by a two-leg. With the help of a kitty pet named Harry, she manages to escape. Leafstar learns that Harry hunts by stealing from foxes, which causes the clan to be attacked by them. A flood occurs in the gorge and much of the clan infrastructure is washed away. Harry is tired of not being respected by his fellow clanmates, so he hides Leafstar's kits and tries to find them himself to make himself look like a hero. Leafpaw, a healer apprentice, finds a new way to communicate with Star Clan at the lake through the Moon Pool. She receives her healer name in honor of her discovery and becomes a Leaf Pool. Leafpool and Crowfeather, a warrior from a rival clan, decide to run away together. They do not make it far, as Midnight finds them and warns them that ThunderClan is being attacked by badgers and they must help in the fight. WindClan comes to the assistance of ThunderClan, however a few cats still die, including Leafpool's mentor, Cinderpelt. The leader of WindClan, OneStar, warns Firestar that this is the last time that WindClan will stand up for ThunderClan. Brambleclaw, who has been training in the dark forest with his father, is led to the lake where his half-brother Hawkfrost has pinned Firestar down using a fox trap. Hawkfrost tells Brambleclaw to kill him so that he can become leader of the clan. However, Brambleclaw refuses and kills Hawkfrost instead. Graystripe and a kitty pet he met named Miley try and find the clans. After finding the forest abandoned, they make their way to the lake. Leafpool gives birth to her and Crowfeather's kits and Squirrelflight takes them in as hers and Brambleclaws. Crowfeather takes a new maid in WingClan in order to prove his loyalties, and has three kits with her, but only one, Breeze Kit, survives. Meanwhile, all of Leafpool's kits survive. Leafpool and Crowfeather's children, Lionpaw, Jaypaw, and Hollypaw, become apprentices. Originally, Hollypaw's a healer apprentice and Jaypaw is a warrior apprentice, but they decide to switch places. A tournament occurs between all four clans in order to celebrate the anniversary of the clans coming to the lake, and two apprentices, Breezepaw and Lionpaw, are buried in a tunnel collapse, but are dug out and survive. Graystripe and Miley rejoin ThunderClan. Since Graystripe was deputy when he left and Brambleclaw is now deputy, a bit of a debate occurs over who should get the position now. Graystripe decides to let Brambleclaw keep the title. Lionpaw and Heatherpaw discover the tunnels connecting WingClan and ThunderClan, their clans, and use them to meet in secret. Lionpaw also begins to train in the Dark Forest with Tigerstar, who he assumes to be his grandfather. Jaypaw discovers that Cinderpaw is the reincarnation of Cinderpelt. He also discovers that a group of cats used to live around the lake before them, called the Ancients. A litter of WingClan's kits go missing, and it turns out they are in the tunnels. Lionpaw, Heatherpaw, Breezepaw, Hollypaw, and Jaypaw all go into the tunnels and are able to save the kits. Stormfur and Brook come back from the tribe to seek help surrounding a situation with rogues. Lionpaw, Hollypaw, Jaypaw, 
Rambleclaw, Crowfeather, Breezepaw, and Tawnypelt Pelt go to the tribe and are able to drive the rogues away. J Paul tells his siblings about the prophecy that he heard that they may have the power of stars in their paws. J Paul has the power to sense emotions, walk in dreams, and visit StarClan without the assistance of a spiritual place like Moonpool or the Moonstone. Lionpaw has extreme strength. Hollypaw doesn't appear to have any ability, but she seems to believe that her power is the ability to stick to the warrior code. Your power is being a party pooper, I guess. It is later proven that that is not her power, as Hollypaw has no powers. Soul shows up near ThunderClan territory. Soul is hairy, but he renamed himself because Soul sounds cooler. Soul pulls Leafpool and J Paul aside to warn them that the sun will disappear in a few days. WindClan is scented near ThunderClan's camp. WindClan rushes into the camp, attacking them, and Firestar is able to get them to leave, only for them to continue fighting just outside of camp. He sends for help from Blackstar and ShadowClan, and WindClan seeks help from RiverClan. Lionpaw almost kills Crowfeather, not knowing that Crowfeather is his father. The eclipse occurs, and the four clans stop fighting. Blackstar is convinced of Soul's power and offers him a place in ShadowClan, which he accepts. Blackstar then loses faith in StarClan and entirely abandons some of the clan's traditions. Lionpaw, Hollypaw, and Cinderpaw all received their warrior names. Tawnypelt flees from ShadowClan in order to live in ThunderClan along with her kits. Her kits and the three fake a sign from StarClan in order to make Blackstar a believer again. However, StarClan actually comes down during the fake sign and Blackstar fully regains his faith. Jayfeather receives his full healer name. Not too long after, a fire occurs. Squirrelflight and the three are trapped in the fire, and Ashford corners them, threatening their lives because Squirrelflight never got with him and that broke his heart. Squirrelflight reveals that the kids are adopted, so because of that, she supposedly doesn't have any feelings for them and he can't hurt her by killing them. Ashford lets them leave. Ashford is mysteriously killed. His body is found in the river that runs between WingClan and ThunderClan. Believing Soul to be at fault, ThunderClan sends a patrol to Sundrown Place to find him. However, he is found innocent and released. The three investigate their true parentage. They discover they are the kits of Leafpool, their presumed Anson healer, and Crowfeather, a WingClan warrior. Not being able to bear being the product of codebreaking, Hollyleaf reveals the secret at a gathering. She then runs into the tunnels and is believed to have been killed when they collapse behind her. However, Holly Leaf survives and is nursed back to help by Fawn Leaves, a ghost who lives in the tunnels. Though it now looks like the three will never come to be now that Holly Leaf is supposedly dead, new kits are born into the clan, Ivy Kit and Dove Kit, who may be the part of the prophecy as they are both related to Firestar. Later, it turns out that Dove Kit is, and she has the power of extreme senses, as she can hear a mouse as she can hear a mouse's heartbeat from over a mile away. A drought occurs, causing the lake to dry up and the clans to suffer. Each clan volunteers cats to go upstream from the lake to find the source of the potential blockage. Once the patrol arrives, they discover that beavers have made a dam upstream and thus no water has been able to get down to the lake. They are able to successfully get rid of it and water returns to the lake. Leopard Star passes away and Misty Star takes over her place. A brief controversy occurs when Misty Star realizes that her healer, Mothwing, is an atheist and cannot commune with StarClan. However, she eventually decides to just live with it. Hawkfrost recruits Ivypaw to train in the Dark Forest, which is pretty much just cat hell. A tree falls in ThunderClan's camp, causing the death of Longtail and for Briarpaw's spine to be crushed, and she's paralyzed from the waist down. From the Dark Forest, Tigerstar is able to start a battle between ThunderClan and ShadowClan over a border. Lionblaze kills Rutsifer, ShadowClan's deputy, in the scuffle. StarClan gives the healers an ominous warning. The clans must stand alone in order to face an impending threat. Ivypaw realizes the true nature of the Dark Forest. She's recruited a spy on the Dark Forest and she continues to risk her life to supply vital information to the three. Jayfeather gets a vision that something is happening in the mountains. A patrol is sent over there where a crisis in leadership is occurring. Jayfeather names the new successor and returns back to the lake. Shortly after, he receives a prophecy that quote unquote three must become four. Soul returns to ThunderClan, embraced after supposedly scaring off a fox. Unbeknownst to anyone, it was actually Hollyleaf who did so. Silverstream visits the loner Ravenpaw in his dreams to tell him to bring his nieces to the SkyClan. Ravenpaw does so and is initially refused by Leafstar, but after he helps solve a problem relating to kitty pets, his nieces and his mate Barley are embraced. Ravenpaw passes away soon after and Barley eventually returns to the barn. 
Holly Leaf returns to ThunderClan in the midst of killing Ashfur. Don Pelt accuses Jay Fetter of killing Flametail after Rock forced Jay Fetter to let him drown. However, the other cats don't know Rock exists as he's a spirit, so it kind of just looks like he let his cousin drown. Because he may have murdered another cat, he's suspended from his healer duties. Soul incites a battle between ThunderClan and WingClan. Thanks to Hollyleaf's experience in the tunnels, ThunderClan is able to get the upper paw, and Hollyleaf warns Soul never to come back. Flametail clears the air to all the healers in StarClan that Jay Fetter did not kill him. The healers then help bring StarClan back together after there was a period of division. Jay Fetter briefly believes that Flametail's the fourth cat, however, it turns out to unsurprisingly be Firestar. Jay Fetter takes the three to meet Rock. Rock is incredibly furious and blames the living cats for her own predicament. As without stories, all the cats in the Dark Forest would have faded away and there would be no threat. Ivy Pool urges her fellow Dark Forest trainees to choose his side with the living cats and not the Dark Forest. She's successful in most cases, however, Breeze Belt, Shredtail, and Red Willow all decide to side with the Dark Forest despite her warning. The Dark Forest begins to invade the living world. StarClan, the Tribe of Endless Hunting, the Ancients, and Midnight the Badger all assist in driving out the Dark Forest cats. Hawkfrost attacks Ivy Pool, calling her a traitor. Hollyleaf defends Ivy Pool, but is severely injured in the process. Brambleclaw kills Hawkfrost for the second time. Breezepelt attacks Lion Blaze, trying to kill his half brother. But when confronted by the words of his father, Crowfeather, he flees. Mableshade attempts to kill Sandstorm, jealous that the she cat received all that she herself wanted out of life. However, it kills Spotted Leaf instead before being driven back. Yellowfang kills a broken star, her own son, for the second time. Firestar and Tigerstar face off. Firestar manages to kill Tigerstar, however, he succumbs to his wounds soon after. Bramblestar is made leader of ThunderClan, with Squirrelflight as his deputy. The clans win the battle, and the Dark Force is forced to retreat. The clans slowly begin to recover from the battle. There's a lot of mistrust surrounding the cats who trained in the Dark Forest. The clan leaders make them swear an oath of loyalty to their clans. However, some cats point out that words mean nothing when compared to claws. The three learn to live without their special powers, which got taken away after the battle. Duffling still feels unsettled, so she rounds up the other two and goes to Moonpool, where it is confirmed that their powers are not needed anymore and that is why they were taken away. Stoats take up residence in the Thunder Wind Tunnels, threatening both clans. Nightcloud goes missing and everyone assumes that she was killed by Stoats until she is revealed to have been taken in by two legs. ThunderClan and WingClan work together to drive out the Stoats. The Dark Force trainees gain more respect after showing their loyalty during the battle. Once our visits the Force territories to see if he can find Smoke and Dark Kit, his Kit and his former mate. He learns that Dark Kit is now Dark Tail and Smoke was killed by a monster. A storm floods the lake, causing the clans to seek higher ground. Blackstar drowns and Roanclaw takes his place. ThunderClan helps ShadowClan take their territory back from a group of badgers who have settled on it. The clan leaders agree to add a new line to the code, that each clan is able to be proud and independent, but in times of need, the clan should all unite to protect the others so they do not permanently fall. Earth, a tom raised in a matriarchal group of cats called the Sisters, fails to communicate with the Earth, something that toms are expected to do. His brother Stream is struck by lightning and dies shortly before he's set to leave the Sisters. He struggles to survive on his own, but is saved by Root, his father, and changes his name to Tree shortly after. Hawkwing, a new SkyClan warrior, meets Darktail, and they accept him into their clan despite just getting a prophecy about, quote unquote, dispelling the darkness. They find out that he's knowledge about the other clans and enlist him to find the other clans. However, Darktail isn't to be trusted, and after leading the cats on a wild goose chase, uses his rogues to take over the clan's territory and drive out SkyClan, who then continue to wander in search of the other clans. Hawkwing's relationship with Pebbleshine, a fellow warrior, develops, and soon the two become mates. On a raid of a farm truck, Pebbleshine is unable to escape and is taken far away from SkyClan. Heavily pregnant and then caring for two young kids, she struggles to find her way home. She is unable to and soon after dies. Tree, who can see spirits, finds her and promises her that her kids will be safe. Back in the lake territories, the healers are given a prophecy to embrace what you find in the shadows as they will clear the sky. Alderpaw, Sparkball, Sandstorm, and Needlepaw go to find SkyClan, but only find Darktail and his rogues. On the way back from the quest, Sandstorm dies. Two kits are found in a tunnel, Violet Kit and Twig Kit. Since Needlepaw is a ShadowClan apprentice and she helps to find them, Rome Star is able to bargain for one of the kits, and takes a Violet Kit back to ShadowClan while Twig Kit stays in 
ThunderClan. Lil Cloud dies with no apprentice and Puddlepaw is chosen as healer. Darktail's group begins to stalk WingClan's territory and take over ShadowClan, ousting its leader and taking most of its members under its wing. Puddleshine becomes a full healer just in time for what remains of his clan to suffer from an illness. Once Star refuses to give them a cure, because he blames them for Darktail taking one of his lives. All four clans agree to try and drive out the kin, however one star chickens out at the last second, allowing the kin to triumph. Shortly after, River Clan is taken over by the kin, and most of our warriors are taken as prisoners. Violet Paw and Needle Tails try to poison Darktail and his closest advisors prey. However, they recognize the taste and try to drown Needle Tail to teach her a lesson. Needle Tail attacks the Dark Tail, and Violet Paw is able to escape. Twig Paw temporarily leaves the clans and is assumed dead. However, she then returns with Sky Clan. All clans, now there are five of them, agree to help drive out the kin together once more. One star decides to take care of a mess that he helped cause by helping to create Dark Tail and drowns Dark Tail, his secret son, killing him in the process. Here, Star becomes leader. The Rowan Star is now back in control of his clan. He's heavily questioned over his leadership ability given what happened with the rogues. Both Twigpaw and Violetpaw decide to try out living in Sky Clan with their father, Hawkwing. Violetpaw meets a mysterious cat named Tree, who claims he can talk to spirits, such as Needletail. Rowan Star gives in to the pressure and disbands Shadow Clan once more, combining them with Sky Clan this time and taking on the name Rowan Claw. Tire Heart leaves the clans to be with Dovewing, and they have kits together in the Two Light Place. Yarrowleaf and Sleek Whisker, two former members of the kin, join Sky Clan. Sleek Whisker takes Yarrowleaf's kits hostage with help from the kin. They are able to be recovered, but Rowan Claw dies in the process. Sleek Whisker and the rest of the kin are driven out from the lake again. Tigerheart and Dovewing decide to return to the clans. Tigerheart dies before they can make it back, but Dovewing carries his corpse to the moon pool and throws it in. Star Clan is able to revive him, and now a Tiger Star is once again in control of Shadow Clan. Shadow Kit, Tiger Heart Star's kit, begins to suffer from seizures and visions. One says that a large tree is going to crash into the tribe of Rushing Water's cave. He and Tawny Pella head over to the tribe and help them out, and are able to save them from that. Puddleshine becomes infected from being slashed by barbed wire, so Alderheart tries to use Death Berries to save him, which shockingly works. After a series of conflicts over territory with Shadow Clan, Leafstar tries to get Sky Clan to return to the gorge. However, a storm conveniently occurs and they are saved by Thunder Clan. It is revealed that Juniper Claw poisoned Sky Clan during the conflict using Death Berries, and he no longer is deputy because of that. Shadow Kit and Violet Shine fall into a flooded stream, and Juniper Claw saves them, dying in the process. The clans decide that Sky Clan should stay for good, and all clans should get a fair say in their territory markers. Squirrel, Flight, and Leafstar are trying to find a home for Sky Clan to move into, however, are captured by the sisters. They are then released. A rock slide occurs near the sisters' camp, and Leafpool and Squirrel Flight are severely injured because they were in the camp at the time. Leafpool dies of her injuries, however, Squirrel Flight is able to live after a short stint in Star Clan. The sisters leave once their kits are grown enough to travel, and Sky Clan settles into their new territory where the sisters once were. During a harsh winter, the moon pool freezes over, and as such, no cat can contact Star Clan besides Shadowpaw, who is receiving cryptic visions about Codebreakers. Bramble Star becomes sick, and Shadowpaw is told by a mysterious spirit to heal him using Death Berries. Bramble Star dies due to that, for a cat is able to take over his body and starts to demand complete obedience from members of the clan. A secret meeting is held to discuss Bramble Star's bold new platform, and Root Spring, the son of Tree, can see spirits and sees Bramble Star's spirit making him believe that another cat is in control of his body. Shadow Sight earns his healer name and is attacked on his way to the moon pool. He survives and is left as a ghost for a short while until a root spring finds him and helps other cats discover his dying body. Fairy Bramble Star begins to exile anyone who opposes him and instigates a fight with Shadow Clan. He is defeated and is taken prisoner. Squirrel Flight recognizes him as Ashfur, her crazy stalker, back from beyond the grave. Shadow Sight is viewed as a collaborator to the imposter and is demoted. Graystripe and a few other cats lose their faith in ThunderClan and start to wander. Graystripe initially stays with his son Stormfur in the tribe of Rushing Water, before going to the forest territories. There, a group of kitty pets have set up a clan called Warrior Clan. He realizes that if Warrior Clan can exist bravely and nobly without Star Clan, that the cats in the lake can too, and he returns back to the lake to reunite with his clan. 
The leaders come to a consensus that the imposter must die, even if it means killing Bramblestar in the process. Ashfur escapes and kidnaps Squirrelflight. He drags her into the moon pool and the two of them awake in the dark forest. Upon Greystripe's return to the clan, Lionblade steps down as acting leader and Greystripe takes his place. The clans begin to send rescue missions into the dark forest to retrieve Squirrelflight. They discover that Ashfur is holding newly minted ghosts hostage and that not all dark forest cats agree with what he is doing. As the Dark Forest begins to flood with cat erasing liquid, Star Clan, the Dark Forest, and living cats alike begin to battle Ashfur. Bristle Frost, a Thunder Clan warrior, sacrifices herself to kill Ashfur. The living cats who entered the Dark Forest are declared the lights in the mist and are unable to give critiques to the warrior code in order to prevent a similar thing from occurring in the future. One of the changes to the code is an allowance of half clan relationships, as long as someone eventually changes their clan to be with the other. Very Hard to Shadow Clan takes personal offense to that and becomes the ultimate Karen. The leader of River Clan, Misty Star, dies after being criticized once. Her deputy, Reed Whisker, also dies. On her way to the moon pool, Curlfeather, the next leader appointee, is mauled by dogs and warns Frostpaw not to trust any cat with her dying words. River Clan struggles with no leadership. Frostpaw seeks guidance from Star Clan but only gets told to seek a leader beyond the obvious choice. Several cats, including Rowan Kit, Tiger Heart Star's newest son, fall ill with Green Cough. A patrol is sent out to find Cadmint as a shortage is occurring. They go to the Two Light Place, where a Sky Clan warrior remembers passing some as they came to the lake. They are able to find some, but it is too late for Rowan's Kit, who passes away. Frostball selects Owlnose as leader, however, he gets rejected at his Nine Lives ceremony. At the gathering, he is torn apart by the other leaders. Tiger Heartstar suggests that a weak clan is a problem for all the other clans. Later, he takes matters into his own paws and forcefully takes over River Clan. However, Frostpaw still searches for a leader, despite being cut off from Star Clan. Tiger Heartstar orders her to train as a warrior apprentice now that she has lost her connection, and Frostpaw begins to pursue Splashtail romantically now that the pesky healer coat isn't in her way. Nightheart tries to join Shadow Clan because he feels like he is overshadowed by his ancestor, Firestar. In order to do so, he is given three trials. He passes the first two, however fails the third and returns to ThunderClan. Sunbeam of ShadowClan decides to join Nightheart in ThunderClan. Bramblestar steps down as leader and Squirrelflight is scheduled to take his place. Frostpaw gains a vision of a cat killing Reed Whisker, and she learns that the cat who killed him was likely known to him, as he looks shocked. She goes to consult with Whistlepaw, a healer apprentice in WingClan, however she is attacked before she can arrive. This brings us to the end of Shadow, the most recent book to come out in Warrior Cats. As other books get added to the series, I will add the events into a pinned comment down below, so if it's been a couple of years since this has been released, check the comment section for updates. This has been the entire Warrior Cats series, compiled into just under 50 minutes if my calculations are correct. Are they correct? Just look at the length of this video yourself to determine that. It's utterly wild to look back at the start of the series and realize where we are now. We started with just stealing kits, and now we are crossing barriers between heaven and hell out of revenge. Just wow. There's also so much I didn't cover in this video because I didn't want to make it even longer than it already is. If you've never read the series and are just learning about it through this video, you are missing out on so much. I highly recommend reading at least the first arc of the series. So anyways, what's your favorite event that happened in Warrior Cats, covered or not covered in this video? Comment down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and War Cats videos pretty often, and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who've already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I'm gonna have gone here without y'all. Peace, Rogan out.